All right, guys. Welcome to another Steep Country video. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, TJ at Dead On Archery. We're gonna get some new strings put on the Matthews B3X, which if you go back on our channel, you can see that bow build by TJ. And we're gonna talk about a couple other things, some benefits of having custom strings versus stock strings, and just go through the final setup for the 2023 archery season. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe. If you're local to the Treasure Valley area, come check out Dead On Archery and let's get into this. So heads up, we are open, completely open. The date is August 17th, so we are extremely busy. Sorry about that. But <laughs> uh, again, keep in mind, August 17th, getting new strings and doing a tune on the bow. Some of you out there probably be like, man, that guy's nuts. Is it, is it too late in the game to do this? You know, who knows? We can get bows together pretty quick and we can get them actually out ready to rock and roll within a couple days. So first thing, uh, we're gonna get the old zebra strings off. If you're a zebra string lover or not, we gotta get them out of here because we're gonna put our custom strings on. So they're on target custom bow strings. So we're gonna put those guys on there, uh, take everything off, get everything to spec. Pros to a custom string, the custom string is a pre-stretch. There's just more love put into a custom string. You're gonna get a little bit more life out of them. They're sweet, you can do cool colors, like this. So you can get custom Ooh. colors. Um, the other thing is like with our strings, we warranty them for a year. So we warranty them against serving separation of peep rotation. So if Richard has a problem with that, we're gonna build him another string or cable or whatever we need to do. These guys, they're all broke in. Uh, he wanted to run this because on this, they've got on the cams, they've got the lobes. So Rich is actually gonna take these, he's gonna have them in his pack as a backup, just in case. So he's already broke them in, shot them in, and now we're gonna put the pre-stretch strings on, give this bow some bright life, and then these are gonna be here just in case if he needs them. We're gonna get the axles out, pull the cams, and start building it, putting it together. Shot dog, hello. Oh. So with new strings, how does that affect a bow tune or timing or any of that? Obviously putting new strings on, we've got to, we've got to tune it. And a tune doesn't mean just getting it to shoot good through paper. Anyone can get a bow to shoot good through paper, whether if it's tuned or not. A proper tune is getting the bow to actually to spec. So getting everything to where axle axle is, brace height, tiller, everything's in spec. So putting new strings on, like obviously, right? Like they're just sitting here. So we've got to get the twist ratio correct and we got to get everything where it needs to be. We're hitting a reset button. So we're getting this bow completely back to where it was from the factory, but even better, because usually from the factory it's not 100% tuned. Sometimes we put new strings on there. It doesn't require a whole lot of work and sometimes it requires more twisting and more work on some cables and strings. Yeah, as far as sighting in, uh, Richard, more than anything, you're gonna have to start close. So we always tell people start close just to make sure. Obviously we're gonna put a new peep in. The height could be a little bit different. So just a little food for thought. If you have a low peep, you have a low sight. If you have a high peep, you have a high sight. So it can change your impact that way as well. So hopefully we'll, we'll take his old string, we'll measure out the peep where it was on the old string and get it right there, have him pull it back, double check it. There are a lot of factors when it comes with these bows. You're gonna want some time. Don't wait till September 1st and you're going out September 2nd to get strings. Um, it, can it be done? Yes, if you know what you're doing and you're efficient with it. Not usually something sought after. We're on a timeline, guys. We're gonna be uh, working hard to get ready for August 30th opener here. We appreciate TJ getting this done for us. <laughs> It was actually designed by an optometrist. I actually met him at the uh, ATA show. Oh, okay. So, and he talked to me all about it. And he actually gave me one of these peeps. I had it uh, in my suitcase for two years. Cause I was like super like, whatever, it's a peep site, skeptical on the thing. So I finally one day, I was like, you know what, I should try it out. 
All right. It was the best thing I ever did, man. So I did it. Now we sell thousands, like literally thousands of these peeps really? a year. Okay, so we're <laughs> going to shoot through paper now. We're doing the final touches of getting the new strings on. They look great. Got a new peep side on. Looks great. We're going to shoot through paper now and see what we are dealing with. First time through paper. We haven't done it yet. First time, yeah. No YouTube magic. No YouTube magic. Ooh, it, it looks pretty good from here. Let's see. Oh, just a little left. Tip left. Okay, a little, okay. A little tip left, so we'll see. So we just did a sweet little top hat adjustment. Okay. So right up in here. And what it is, more than anything, is Richard, when he first started got, getting the bow, he just kind of came into the grip. And he did tell me just now that kind of changed his grip a little bit. Mm -hmm. So we just basically, up in here, there's shims called the top hat. So just did a little adjustment, see if that fixed it. Let's see. Oh. That looks pretty good from here. <laughs> so all I did is just swap the two top top hats, but you that's a call pretty good hole. Bullet holes. Paper for me is uh, just the beginning part. Correct. So this right here is kind of more of a feel good. Obviously you want it to fly straight out of the bow. So there's a lot of people that have different views on paper tuning. Um, I've been to a lot of different schools with that and definitely some swear by this and some feel like don't even waste your time with paper tuning. We incorporate it a lot just to it's a good starting point and we move on from there. I feel real good. So yeah, uh, we got new batteries in the chronograph. Make sure your batteries are good in your chronograph. I'm gonna shoot through the chronograph with the stock strings and a 493 grain arrow. I was shooting 288 feet per second consistently. So we're gonna see with the new custom strings if we have any gain or loss or the same. Two eighty four. So four feet per second loss, and like TJ was saying, because the custom strings have some more material in them, and it's twenty four strands in the string, we might lose a little. That's not a ton of difference, guys. I might have a little adjusting to do when it comes to my sight, but really happy with that. Still cooking. Have tons of kinetic energy coming out of this bow and really happy with it. Check it again. Duplicate. Duplicate, 284. So she's consistent, just like you thought. Beautiful bow. Beautiful bow, look at it. Now you can see it when you lay it down. Now all the elk are gonna think I'm the coolest guy in the woods. That's right, they're <laughs> gonna come running in. They're like, oh, look at that orange string. It looks so delicious. <laughs> <laughs> we just got done with the string install. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean the strings really quick so they look shiny when they come out of here because of the dark hands. But real quick, kind of the pros and cons. We already kind of went on the pros as far as custom strings and getting a little bit longer life out of them. They're pre-stretched. You don't have to worry about peep rotation. Get all the colors you want with it. Cons to it is on a custom set, normally unless if you specify with your string builder about strand count, Okay, so most of the time we're running 24 strands on the string. Some people run 22, some run 20, and I've even seen as 18. The more strand count you get, usually the little bit slower it is. If anything, you might lose a little speed, so that's a little bit of con when you go with custom strings, unless if you specify your strand count. But um, overall, the more strands you have, basically longer life you're gonna get out of a string. So it's a catch-22. As you can see, TJ got the bow <laughs> all set up. She's looking very pretty and nice, like you said, delicious for the elk woods. If you guys need any assistance with your bow equipment, come see TJ and the boys here at Dead On in Boise, Idaho. Uh, they serve everywhere and like TJ said, they are gonna be open. Don't wait too long, don't be like me, you know. Even though we're 13 days out, I still got some work you, to do. You, you got plenty of time. Okay. Plenty of time, you're good. I got plenty of time, so we'll figure it out. I'm gonna get shooting this thing, get it ready for September, get some broadheads on it and be good. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit like on this video, go follow Dead On Archery and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good luck everyone this season. This is heck some yeah. September archery prep. Good luck TJ. And this is what we live for baby. Heck yeah. We are. And we'll catch y'all in the next video.